Hey everyone, welcome back to Diabetic Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I'm sorry that there was one episode missing um, a couple days ago. Uh, I know this is coming out on the 26th, um, and there should have been one on the 24th, but unfortunately I got a little carried away with streaming, um, and so I ended up not being able to put out a video on the 24th. However, we are going to be back on track with these videos being every other day. Um, but I was just streaming a whole lot. Normally I stream about six hours a day, and I was streaming like, I don't know, like nine hours a day. In a half, seven, and then I just got, I was felt so tired. But we're back, we're back in, in it, uh, and uh, we're gonna continue the run. Or, uh, series and stuff. But let's go see what we uh, can do. I feel like doing... We haven't done a Maggie run, let's go ahead and do that. Kind of touched every single character but Maggie, and maybe Maggie will allow us to unlock Kane if we get a Bloodish Machine. Get up to that 55 coins to unlock Kane, and then we can uh, have fun with him. Again, we're not going to reset because we are trying to build a streak up. Uh, trying not to die, trying to take what we get and work with it. This is not an Excel floor, but we are having a hard time finding our item room, so I'm going to assume we are going the wrong way to find our item room. And back on up, and go up here. Oops, I meant to... It's okay. We're gonna get these coins anyways, because we have Yum Hearts, and we can afford to take a full heart of damage to get some extra coinage. But hopefully you guys are doing, are doing really great. I hope, uh... In general, life is treating everyone well. If not, I hope things do get better for you. And, uh, let's see what's in our first item room. We get the big fan. And it is going to be an orbital that rotates around us and deals contact damage, very minor contact damage. Uh, but it's an orbital, an orbital nonetheless, and I'm proud to call it mine, a little fat fly. And I could play this for a chest. Normally I, I try to get it to where if I have a half heart, I can kind of guarantee the chest, but really those pay out relatively soon. I find usually after two to three times I get it anyway, so. I was gonna risk it and go all the way down, but we didn't need to. I'm gonna go ahead and blow up one of these scissor rocks. Two solars will definitely work. That allow us to avoid red heart damage on the next floor. I'm gonna avoid picking up that red heart because having a an unfilled red heart um, will mean that we have a better chance to get an arcade next floor. I will hold on to this pill dearly, and I will use it at the beginning of next floor because it could be a full health pill, which would also be bad. This boss is guaranteed to give us a soul heart because it's blue. Baba dee, baba die, and uh, that's always good. So. Gonna slowly work out this boss. And this boss is Gemini, by the way. So, the unfortunate part of Maggie is Maggie's really slow. Maggie's slower speed, but in general, all kind of uh, neutral stats besides that. So, Maggie's not a bad character. Good character for general people who aren't amazing or kind of new at Isaac, I mean. Because uh, of the extra health, you can kind of uh, work around with that a little bit. And that's helpful. Unless you pick up some speed, you're pretty good to go. I actually filled my red heart anyways, so speed's not going to be... Or the hill's the not going to be an issue, but it's the tears down. Which is always kind of fun to work with, having a deficit of a stat. It's a challenge, it's an uphill battle. We can do it if we believe in ourselves, or some other non uh, nonsense. It's, it's not really nonsense, it's kind of the wrong word. It's very negative. I don't know why I'm being negative right now. I'm not a negative Nancy in general. And if your name is Nancy, then I, I bet you're not negative either. So really this whole is a, it's a very positive situation that we put ourselves in. And I'm glad to have done it. And uh, we are going to work with our negative stats. I know that in my Eden hard mode streaking runs, we generally get, have, have very poor stats to begin with anyways. This is kind of like an insane run already. Um, in terms of comparing this to our Eden Streak runs, and you should see some of those charts. Those are awful. Uh, no key, so I can't really go to my item room, but I'm probably gonna explore the rest of the floor trying to find it anyways. But in the meantime, we're gonna, um... Oops. Work towards killing this boss. I'm gonna try to get hit as many times as possible for RNG manipulation on a Devil Deal, which we are guaranteed to get as long as we don't take any red heart damage. This is a little jumpy guy. Monster. You just learned how to jump. And I'd like to give him kisses, because he's so cute. 
And I should probably just not do this, but I I have a thing with orbitals. You gotta you gotta ram your orbitals into all the enemies. It's just what you do with them. That's a 0.5 tears up, 0.2 shot speed up, which is gonna make up for the tears down. This is a triple red chest, which is pretty bad, except aside from the uh, pills, which I think that one was a tears down, right? Yep. And this one, which is a tears up, so to make up for it. Well, that's not exactly what I needed. Um, let's go explore the rest of the floor. The tears up is at least gonna be pretty good from the uh, screw there. And uh, can't really complain about that. I wish I could take that item. That's actually not a bad item in general. It's gonna give you a slow heart every six rooms, guarantee horseman, unless it's on an XL floor or a double boss um, a boss room, or you've already had a horseman on that pair of floors. Pretty good item in general. I will, however, trade out my Yum Heart for a paw because that's gonna allow me to have a ton of excess health, which I like. And that concludes this floor. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. I know I wish I had some keys, but this game is uh, not cooperating in terms of keys. So we'll just hop on down. Go down to uh, Caves 1 here. And we are now fighting Ultra Pride. Ultra Pride is going to drop the left hand, or really has a chance to drop the left hand, because really I've kind of been screwed out of the left hand a couple times now. Uh, fighting this mini boss just doesn't provide what I'm looking for. Uh, we took care of Florian. And that is Edmund, the green guy. And, oops, let's not do that again. That would be very smart. Yep, they said we're not gonna do that again, actually. And we got a left hand, so that's not bad. It's gonna turn all chests into red chests, which is really good if we're going to go for a guppy. And considering we have one piece of guppy, why wouldn't we go for guppy? I might do a, um, Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Basically what this means is we are becoming Guppy whether the game likes it or not. Because that is uh, Guppy's tail. So now we have a better chance for chests. And those chests are, are more likely to be red chests. Uh, because we have... Uh, or not more likely, they will be red chests. Because of the fact that we have the left hand. Upon getting hit um, down to or getting rid of our soul heart, I will go ahead and paw away one red heart for three soul hearts, which is exactly what the paw does. Um, reason being is you don't want to take red heart damage. As soon as you take red heart damage, you have a worse chance for double deals. You lose the uh, no heart, no red heart damage on the floor, and that is bad considering it makes up most of the percentage of a devil deal. So, and uh, there we go. That I screwed it up. I messed up. It's my mistake. Could be patient. I'm, I'm not. Especially when I know I have this many sorts. I mean, potentially I have nine more sorts. So I kind of take advantage of that and clear ribs fast. I'm not kind of trying to speedrun or anything. It's just. It's a habit. And I don't mean the item either. Har har! We got puberty, which just gives us those, those hairs upon our head. It's, does, it's just visual. Um, balls of steel is going to be two sorts. It's pretty nice. Uh, we have yet gone to our item room, so we're gonna do that, but right after we fight our boss, which is a not a fun boss to fight, so. I mean, it's not bad, though. It's just gonna take a little bit of time. I'm generally not dodging my best, and I think that's still due to part of the paw. It's giving me this, this false sense of I can take any damage I want because I have all this health, man, and a boo boo. And I guess I should still try to dodge. Doge, as they say in French. Um, not really. That's not even true at all. Nor either is it. It's not, probably not funny, so. Shouldn't make those jokes, probably. But I did, so what you can do about it. I'm just talking to myself now at this point. But I kind of do that in new videos. I mean, this is, this is YouTube. You sort of talk and do things by self, and. So whenever I, someone asks me, hey, do you talk to yourself? I say, all the time! And then YouTube and things. And they look at me. And they don't really look at me. This is all hypothetical. I mean, maybe they look at me. Maybe they look away. Maybe I'm hideous. They don't even want to see me. I mean, embarrassment or something. This is a long fight. Eventually, we're going to win, but. We had one piece of guppy. Do you know how quick this fight would be? It'd be so quick. It would be guppy and spawning kamikaze flies with every hit that does twice your damage. It'd be really nice. Actually. 
And that is an Andrum, not a Devil Deal. The reason why we got that is because we didn't lock in our Devil Deals because we didn't get one. We got Triple Red Chest. And we got Placenta, which is Regeneration and HP up. And Eternal Heart, which is going to be another three Soul Hearts upon piling it away. Again, I don't, I don't feel like I need to dodge. I can just ram enemies with my fly. Can you imagine someone doing that in real life? Like, maybe just taking a fly and like seeing someone like jabbing in their eye or something. I don't know. That's that's what came to my head right now. It's not what's actually going on in this game. You never see another like Maggie that you're like, hey, let's jam this fly in your eye, but that's what came to my mind was hey, let's jam flies to people's eyes. Oh my goodness guys, we got another angel room, it's so good. We already whoa. It's pretty. Uh, we were already there. Teleport to Andrew is pretty cool. I mean, it's it's cool and everything. Not always helpful. As demonstrated there, for sure. Because uh, we've already been there. But I guess in a situation where we haven't gone, that would have been really nice. And we have a chest. Oh, you suck. So bad. I probably could have dodged that, but again. Soul hearts galore. The sun's going to be full mapping for a floor, which is pretty nice. I will take Bounce of Tears, because I love them. They bounce, they can hit enemies more than twice. And, um... Really good item. Like, actually strong. Um... I like it. So, I will take it, love it, treasure it, and fight these guys, trying not to get hit anymore, because that was not the best damage. Is there... I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. It's not the best thing, but... I will go ahead and pile away another heart for three soul hearts and take the key, because I really want item rooms next floor. And I don't know if the amount of chests I'm getting is going to result in me getting another key. So just in case, we're gonna go ahead and take the key. We're definitely going right into this room. We're getting, getting a dead cat, which is going to be our third gubby piece. It didn't even come from red chests. Isn't that silly? We are so counting on that, like I was, had all the plans with left hand and being all cool, but I don't need, I should have pot away health, I didn't, but guess what, I, I mean I told you guys to do that, if you were in this situation and you, you needed health, what you should do is paw away your hearts, so you have a shit ton of them, and possibly even play this machine a ton prior to getting a lot, a lot of uh, good money, but what I did was I was excited, and I was talking to you guys, because you guys are awesome. And I totally forgot about um, pulling it away, so I didn't. And instead, we're still gonna wreck, so it's okay. I can build up some health. I can open these chests that won't contain keys, because why would why they can, can contain keys? They won't. They, they, they might, but that's, we're talking my luck here. Okay, you're obviously not wanting to pop up. I'm tempted. I did it. I'm actually going to paw this heart away, because even if we get a Devil Deal, I want to be at this amount of health. And even if we if we die, it doesn't count as right heart damage. It's also really good. Also, we're going to dodge really well from now on. I actually won't get a hit again for the rest of the game. Starting now, I'm not getting hit. I'm sure I'm going to surprise a lot of you when this actually happens. You'll be like, I thought he was kidding. And you're like, no. I am dead serious. We're not getting hit again. Uh, that's going to be Butt Bombs, Toxic Blast, or Five Bombs. I might die from like devil deals and stuff, but I'm not gonna get hit ever in this game now. I'm upset about getting hit so much. I shouldn't be hit some or shouldn't have been hit so much. It's just me being lazy. And lazy's not good, it's not showing off true potentials and stuff. So from now on, not getting hit, not happening. This game can't touch this. Nah 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 nah. You know the song. But we're not getting hit. I'm not doing it. So, let's continue on, let's fight things and win battles, fight dragons. There's no dragons in this game. It'd be kind of weird if they were, I think, though. It wouldn't really fit the whole storyline, I don't think. Conquering dragons, defeating castles, saving princesses. This is Mario. Mega Fatty is not going to be too bad. He's not going to hit me because, as I said, we're not getting hit for the rest of the game. Even on Isaac and Blue Baby, we're just not getting hit. Actually, I don't think we can go to Blue Baby yet. We've only locked the dark room, so even on Satan and the Lamb, we're not getting hit at all anymore. I've made a commitment, sticking to it. 
That is a match book. It's an evil up. It's gonna give us that black soul heart and um, three bombs, which two of them ended up being troll bombs. Nothing else I can do on this floor. I uh, we went to our shop. No, we didn't go to our shop. We don't have a key, but we went to our item room, so that's at least beneficial. Uh, let's go to the next floor. Depths one. Why wouldn't I do this? I'm not gonna get hit, so I might as well do that. And uh, those chests require a bomb to open up. We had bomb, so I opened it up. Got a lot of money. Didn't get any keys, because again, <laughs> what are keys? We had no keys. It's almost like low keys, but without enemies and without keys. Um, that's like the worst joke I could have probably made. I thought it was funny, but again, my sense of humor is not. I don't know. Maybe everyone finds it funny. I've not thought of it that way. It's a lovely golden chest. We're really gonna love it. Rub our bodies all over it, and then continue on as we go to the next room. We're just kind of caressing it, telling the game what it should give us, what I want to do with uh, said objects of uh, insertion. Uh, the keys, of course. Um, again, coins are great, but they don't do much when you're not in the shop. <laughs> Can't buy anything. It's like being on a abandoned island with like a million dollars. You're just looking at it like, well, I guess that'll be fire. I guess that'll work. But for us, we can't even do anything. Like it's, I guess, I guess we have this, and it's gonna be gone after this run. It is what's going through my head right now. We could donate to the donation machine, but again, I haven't. Don't have keys to do so. As we could collect more bombs and coins, come to realize that is all the game has offered me. It has been removed from the code of what keys are. They're a rare species. Holy! Oh my goodness! That's a key! It was sitting on the island! We saved it! Found the keys on the island. Sometimes if you look on the island hard enough, you get what you need. More money? Let's try to find this up so we can put more money into it. Also, I just want to point out I haven't gotten hit yet, because I told you guys I'm not getting hit again. It's not happening. I thought I was making it all up, and I'm not. I'm dead serious. We're not... Getting hit is not something we're doing. A second key... This one must be the other key, soulmate. Found it, brought them together. We use them both because we're horrible people. We use them. And I'm gonna just donate all of it. I'll buy the other key though, because again, we've been on a shortage this entire run. Well, that Dutch machine did not want much of that. Um, yeah, it seems in our item room. It's probably Polyphemus knowing me. No, that's not knowing me. Knowing me is probably a little Chad. Bar of Tall. Bar of Tall. I can't words. Bar of Tall is what I was going to say. Um, but that wouldn't make more sense. Um, Ball of Tar, however, switching the L's and the R of those two words, would make much more sense because that's the, what the item's called. Which would allow us to uh, slow down enemies if they walk on our, like, creep. Um, we can also shoot enemies with a slowing tier, which is also cool. This room's a lot of fun because it requires a shoot from the side. Meow. Hey, buddy, look this way. Now I'm gonna shoot you from your side because you can't turn. Yep, you too. You're just gonna stay right there. Don't look. These guys have very, they have tunnel vision. And that's why uh, sometimes in life you should just look around you once every once in a while. You see someone shoot, shoot at your side. Like, why the hell are you doing that? Find the boss. We're not going to get hit here. I know it looks like we are. But we're not. Not getting hit! It's a 5.25 range up, 0.5 to your head up. That's a general heart for health up on the next floor. And I think we're pretty good to go. I don't think we need anything else. We have one key left, so we can go use that on the next item room or shop or something. We can't even donate the rest of our money. We've already donated as much as we could. Not getting hit, because I'm not getting hit. I told you guys, it's not happening. Not making anything up. 
I was dead serious from the get-go that I'm not getting hit the rest of the game. Because at the beginning of the game, I took way too much damage. Now, the range really helps with, uh, range. Damage usually helps with damage, but that's kind of something we've been lacking the entire run. I mean, it's good that we have Guppy, because this would have been, like, not a fun run otherwise. Hey guys, look to your side. On your left side, you'll see a person shooting at your head. Same with you. And pills. I mean, we've had some okay pills, haven't we? Like, bombs are key. 17 keys. It's got to be, that's pretty good. That ball's still, I'll take it. Tears down, I'm probably not going to. Bombs are key, is not going to matter. Pick that up. It's a range up. Probably have a lot of range. What's our range now? That's pretty good. I'll go ahead and buy the bomb because I can. I'm going to use Pawway my last heart so I can use that on the deal with the devil because, again, I'm not getting hit anyway. Just might as well paw away all my hearts. And puberty. I went through it twice. It's a horrible experience and it really didn't do anything. So, it's kind of, I mean, let, let's be honest guys. Let's look at the map right now. This map, it sort of looks like an airplane, right? Am I right? Oh shit, I almost took damage. But I didn't, because I told you guys I wouldn't. It wasn't because I was... Yeah, we're just not getting hit. I should have anticipated that. I just kind of stood there knowing what was going to happen. And then was like, just looking at the map. And I'm like, huh. That would be interesting if things looked like that. And then I messed up and almost got hit. I just told you guys I wouldn't do anymore. This is a lovely chest with 17 keys I could open up and love and cradle and stuff. Our flies don't want to move. They are very... They are lazy fly flies. They just are... Uh, it's like right on us and like, nope, not gonna move. You can't tell me what to do. Not very nice. Uh, not for a great chest game. Not for a great chest. Yep, that's our item room. With our 16 keys, we'll surely use one and say, hey, that's a bad item. We'll just... I mean, it basically it knocks back enemies. It can be used more than one time per room. And it's like really bad. And you should feel bad for ever seeing it, so you should just cover your eyes right now. And then just try to forget what just happened. Don't worry, we're out of that room now. You can now look if you were covering your eyes, because I just said that. You can open them back up. This room's a bummer. It means I'm wasting my time trying to deal with these ghosts that have too much health. They have more than 40 HP, mind you. Uh, Ipecac shot would not kill them. And Ipecac is plus 40 damage, so... Kind of crazy how much health they actually do have. Got another key. See, now that we have keys, the game's like, <laughs> I can give you more. You could totally use that bombs or key pill back. It got more of your bombs and it would have been fine. I know the real story, though. It's all a conspiracy. Another golden chest? And what do you know? Look, we got a key out of it. I mean, I'm telling you, this game. This game. Let's continue on. Bounce our way over here. Pick up that key. Oops, I was, I was gonna get hit. I was kinda jumped. You may have heard me jump even. Oops, I got hit. But dang, that was that sucks, because I told you guys I wasn't gonna get hit. Hopefully forget you can forgive me. I didn't mean to. I was trying so hard. Try not to get hit anymore. And I just ruined it for both of us. There's that one spider. There's that one spider. We'll take the negative. And see what's in here. I'll take this so we can lock in our double deals finally. Pick up that and continue on. I jumped because I was not expecting to get like the, the foot to act that way. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, we'll just go in here. It was totally worth it. It was an even trade. Getting hit there is, is not counting as getting hit. So I'm sorry that I 
was not able to complete my mission of not getting hit anymore for the rest of the game. I tried my best, honestly. I did what I could. Also, I just thought of something. We have base damage. That is really bad. I mean, yes, we're guppy. But can you imagine if we weren't right now? How much fun that, that would have been? That wouldn't, that wouldn't have been good. Like, we haven't found anything. If you look at our stats, it's literally the same as when we first came into the game. The only thing we got, like, damage-wise is a 0.5, or I guess you can consider damage, 0.5 tiers up, and a 0.2 shot speed up. That helped with producing more tiers that does damage. That is it. There's been no, no carry here. I mean, besides, Guppy, okay, Guppy's a carry, I'll admit that, but still, no damage. We'll still wreck, but that doesn't, it does matter, but you know what I mean. I mean you, we, there's things that we can still complain about, because why not complain? This is Isaac. You're supposed to complain about everything that you see being very negative. So I was try just trying to be positive early in the episode. I'm just kind of failing my goal here. Uh, there was a tinted rock mark. Tinted mark. Tinted rock marked with an X, so I knew it was a tinted rock. And uh, ooh, this is a fun boss. You guys will like this one. Um, it's a little bit easier than Pin. Um, it's like a monstro sort of. It's probably like. I Man, I would say this boss has less health than Monstro. Um, loads of fun. In fact, if you have the option to fight this boss instead of monster, do it. Like, if you, like, have Forget Me Now and use it on, like, the chest and you... You know what chest you're gonna get. You know there's gonna be a double... Double, uh, cage coming up. Do it. Don't even hesitate. First word should be yes. And then your second word should be oh no. Because it's so good. It's like a... It's like... Oh no! I can't believe it's not butter! It's so, so good. That's what, exactly what it is. And see, look! Easy fight. Didn't even get hit. I've unlocked Necropolis, which is not fun. And here's Krampus. We wanted to join the party. I guess that makes sense, because we didn't like our Devil Deals, so just now we took a Devil Deal, which increases Krampus' chance. If it's cool, I'll be happy. I'll be happy. If Cole is going to increase our damage based on how far our tiers go, because we have bouncy tiers, it's pretty good. We have some good range with it, too. I'll pick up the health up, because why not? I mean, it'll be more health. And we'll go on to the next floor. I'm definitely going to go right into this room and say hello. This was a number one room. I definitely would re-roll my build because it's that good. And we'll just kind of go floor by floor. Cricket's ahead. It's not there. But that is definitely why I said the item, hoping it would appear and then be like, look, I, I called that because psychic and things. Then you guys would be like, whoa, not supposed to do that. I'm like, yeah, you guys wouldn't actually do that though, I don't think. Maybe would. Maybe I'll look in the comments and I'll see all, all the woes. But then at the, that point, why would it already be woe when it didn't happen? That's a lovely heart. And woe isn't like woe, not like woe is my damage. I've had a run like this, with just this damage, without guppy. And I had to win with it for our Eden streak. It was bad. We weren't guppy either. I mean, it was just nothing. We were able to push through it, though. It just it took like an hour and a half. Um, for those of you that don't know, I am a full time Twitch streamer. Streamer? Um, so I stream on twitch.tv forward slash diabetic, which you'll see in the description. Um, but I do Eden hard mode win streaks, and we're currently up to 60. Not bad. And we get some pretty terrible runs. Some scary starts every day, and 
go through a whole series of roller coaster of emotions, and it's pretty awesome. If you see me there and you say, hey, I found you on YouTube, and I see your comment, I usually I get pretty excited because I love talking to people from YouTube that find me from me this, this uh, YouTube. It's like exciting. Look, there's a cricket's head! Whoa! Just pretend I called that one. It's a 0.5 damage up, 1.5 times damage multiplier, and I like it. Um, that's going to help our damage a little bit. We're going to notice a huge increase in ability to clear rooms now. Just that small piece of damage. I mean, I guess it's not even small. It's actually pretty big. One of the good items of the game. And fighting the mom. Done. We don't get a devil deal, so we can't really continue our run to, uh, to the dark room. That's kind of sad. But uh, into the chest. Alright, we've unlocked a fetus in a jar, otherwise known as trash, and we've unlocked challenge number 9, Demo Man, known as Ridiculous. Um, <laughs> that item is horrible. They nerfed it a lot in this game uh, compared to Wrath of the Lamb. Um, but we'll do those, we'll get through those. Um, we now have a one streak of 9. Maggie's done the heart, unfortunately not done Shoal or Darkroom because we did not get that devil deal, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode, I really did. Um, and thank you for watching. And if you want to watch more of my content, you can find me live on stream, www.twitch.tv forward slash diabetic. See that in the description along with my Twitter and stuff. Um, but thanks for tuning in. You guys, are you guys are awesome, awesome people. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.